Natural Falls State Park has been on our list of places to visit for quite a while now, so we we're excited when it actually worked into our vacation plans this year. However, we have to say it wasn't quite what we expected. Natural Falls State Park is an Oklahoma State Park, but it's just west of Salem Springs, Arkansas. The park has 44 RV campsites, 17 tent sites, five yurts that can be rented, and an 18 hole uh, disc golf course. It also has several hiking trails. Today we're only gonna focus on the day use and trail bit of it, because that's all we experienced. So when we first got to the park, we stopped to get a park map and pay our $10 per vehicle parking fee. We then started looking at the map to try to figure out which trails to go on. And we figured since like all the pictures we had seen of that park, it looked like a, basically like a jungle waterfall oasis in the middle of Oklahoma. So we figured we really couldn't go wrong with which trail we picked. We decided to start with the Ghost Coon Trail. It's a ghost coon. And fun fact for the majority of you that won't pick up on the reference, the 1974 movie Where the Red Fern Grows was partially filmed in that park, and that's where the Ghost Coon Trail name came from. It's a ghost coon! So the trail started off in the woods, but pretty soon opened up into a big grassy area where some of the disc golf holes were. We could see the yurts off in the distance, but still no waterfalls at this point. Pretty soon as we got a little bit closer to where the yurts were, we lost track of the trail and couldn't quite figure out where we were going. Luckily there was a group of people that were coming up the hill on this, basically it was an access road. So we asked them if they had any idea where we should be going. They had asked us at that point, had we seen the small waterfall yet? Which we replied, no. Yeah, we hadn't seen any, any water. or any water for that matter. Yeah, not at <laughs> so all. So they were like, well, if you just go down this hill, Pretty soon you'll come to the small waterfall. And then from there, if you take a right and go down just a little ways, that's where the big waterfall's at. So as the group had said, when we got to the bottom of the hill and turned to the left a little ways, that's where the small waterfall was. But it was basically just a spillway from a small pond that we had seen from up above earlier in the trail. We went ahead and followed the waterway upstream, crossed the bridge, and went a little further and finally came to the big waterfall, which it's a 77 foot waterfall. It has viewing decks down below and up above. So it, it was pretty. It was. And there was a like cape like down below yeah, there too with yeah. it. So that was kind of new or yeah. opening to the rocks. Yeah. I don't know if it was a total cave or not, but yeah. Yeah. And the unfortunate part of it is by the time we got there, it was probably a little afternoon on a Saturday, so the a trails- A lot were, of people yeah, by was, that time. It was getting pretty busy. Yeah, very busy.
So once we were through at the big waterfall, we went ahead and kept hiking past there. And it was probably less than a hundred yards from there that we exited the woods and could see the car in the parking lot. So at that point, we decided to just go ahead and get the lunch that we packed out of the car, eat, and then call it a day. We were a little disappointed in this park due to our high expectations. Sure, when you Google this park, all you see are a bunch of pictures of waterfalls. What you don't realize is 90% of those pictures are the same waterfall. We were there for probably a couple hours or so. Yeah. And realistically, the hike to the big waterfall is probably five minutes from the park where you park the car yeah and then the small waterfall is a quarter mile past that so i mean you could really could see this whole park in probably about an hour right with all that being said we're not recommending you skip the park we are recommending it however i don't think that i would drive two hours out of my way to go see it if you're in the vicinity and you have time i I would say go check it out. It is a nice park. It's just not what we were expecting. We were expecting lots of waterfalls and that's just not the case. So I hope you enjoyed the first video of our 2020 vacation. If you did, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you hit the thumbs up below, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you're sure to catch all the next three upcoming videos that we have of our 2020 vacation. Also, we haven't mentioned it much or at all really, but you can always head over to our website, which is midwestjourneys.com, where for each video, we always make a blog post, which has more information than what's in the video. Also, if we have to update the information in the video, we'll always post it over there. And as always, we greatly appreciate you watching our videos and we will see you in the next one.